Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to do this character introduction freeze effect in Hit Film Express. So this effect is actually super easy to do. The first thing you want to do is get a piece of footage that you want to work with and I'm just going to use this piece of footage right here dragging it onto my timeline. I'm going to use the little slider and go a little deeper. You got to figure out where exactly you want that to go. And I think I want to go, uh, I want to cut at the four second mark. So I'm going to use my slice tool. The hotkey for that, of course, is C and slice it just like that. I want to move forward one frame and zooming in even closer, I'm going to slice it again. So now I have one frame that is sort of frozen there. Okay. And now what I want to do is decide how long it's going to go. Let's make it uh, three seconds long. So we're going to go out to seven seconds. I will grab th this part of the video and slide it out. And then using the rate stretch tool here, which the hotkey for that, of course, is S, I'm going to drag this out. Okay, so now I have this situation where it's moving and then it stops. Okay, that's just beautiful. All right, so now... I want to um, zoom in a little bit on this. And of course, I want to turn it to be black and white. You can make it all kinds of different uh, looks. It doesn't have to be just black and white. Um, but I'm going to use black and white as my um, look and drop it in there. And that makes it look good. If you want to adjust that, maybe add a little more contrast or whatever. Uh, maybe a little bit darker, a little, you know, adjusting go ahead whatever you want to do on that okay now we want to zoom in on this uh you can do that by just keyframing the scale and the position and that works really well but the newest version of hit film as of this recording is hit film express 15 and hit film express 15 actually has a new effect called the crop pan and zoom effect so i'm going to drag that on to this uh, video clip this frozen frame going back to my selection tool when I select that you can see that now I have this very slick little uh, box here and I can just adjust this as I want maybe I'll just go there uh, and so now if I were to select off of it you can see that that has zoomed in so now I have this situation where it is uh, you know, walking along and then boom, and it's frozen in a deeper way. And then it just continues after that. Okay. Now I wanted to sort of zoom into that spot. So I'm going to come back to the very beginning here and then I will advance about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames, maybe roughly and slice it there. If I come to the very end and I back up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames and slice it there. I can go ahead and change how the uh, zoom in and out happens. So if I select that little sliver and I'll move in here a little bit closer, uh, it has the effect of the crop and zoom on it. And if I select that, you can see right now it's just cropped. But if I were to select the pan and zoom, then you'll notice that the green one is where the crop was before. And the red one is over here. I want to take this red one and just make it as the full size. Okay. So now what that means is, is that it is going from the green one back to the red one. See, just like that. Okay. Now, if I take that exact and I just select it, copy it, come back to this, select, and I'm going to delete the one that's already in there and paste it here it will basically do the same thing except it's going the wrong direction okay so all i have to do is select the reverse motion tab and so now it will zoom in on that instead of zooming out so now i have this situation where it zooms in on it turning it black and white and then it zooms out okay so now all i have to do is add the um text right so I'm at the very beginning, that's where I want it to show up, and I'm just going to draw my text tool here using this, and then I'm just going to type. Uh, and I don't know what this actress's name is, so I'm just gonna make up Jane Doe as dot, 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 and we'll call it her character Julie. All right, so then I can 
selecting here. Um, going to the text uh, setting, I'll just sort of do this, make this piece just a little bit bigger, right? That sort of a thing. And I think I will, there we go. All right. And then of course I can change the font, uh, maybe, uh, add an outline. Uh, I would probably want to make it black, perhaps add a drop shadow effect to it. And so now I of course want to trim this up. Boom. And so now when it's all said and done, it, you know, boom, just like that. And there's your very super quick freeze frame character introduction effect. So if you have any questions, do me a favor, leave them in the comments below. Also, if you like this kind of a video, uh, feel free to like the video and subscribe. Click the little bell icon for notifications. Share it with your friends. And hey, as always, thanks for watching.